<laughs> Today's epic Captain's Blog is made possible through the support of Scott Savage and dozens of other people just like you. If you like this video, if you like the weird stuff we do, check out the links below in the description and see how you can be a part of supporting it through the Patreon, through hanging out in Discord, and just being one of the weirdos hanging out around here. Thanks, guys. Best day of your life. Move, bitch. All right. Oh, okay. This burns in weird places. Yeah. Come on, you fuck. Ready? Yeah, we're past that. Stay there and hold that with your feet. Like I can move. We're going to come down a step. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh. It's in the basement. Steven, you're a dick. Hey, hey, motherfucker. Got ourselves an assembly. Captain's blog, 0957 hours on November 27th, 2019, and power's out. But all my critical life support, like my laser level, my little DeWalt boombox for emergency life support tunes, and uh, all my M12 tools all run on battery. And because I'm a fucking genius, there are cool dudes who have like the M12 work lights, and I almost bought one like a year ago. I did. But what I did get was uh, cheap little Chinese rechargeable USB um, camera lights. So, ha <laughs> ha, got a work light. Until the battery goes dead. I don't know how long it's going to be. But I think this is dimmable, so I can I can use less battery thanks to pulse wave modulation. All I got to do is set a couple wall anchors, and it's not like it's totally pitch black down here, and it's actually really helpful with the laser. So, cool. <laughs> Uh, I gotta bolt that to the wall. All right. It's daylight outside. Of course, it's Michigan in November, so it's daylight outside for like six hours. But I'm gonna rock it. See what I can make happen. I don't know how much blog I'm gonna be able to get, but I'll do the best I can.
I'm gonna look straight down here. It's my spot. Okay. Yeah, it's a black mark on black paint. The easiest thing to video. You loosen the tube. I'm gonna get a drill. What? What? More damage. Okay, you good? I'm good. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to drill a hole in the <laughs> brand new laser. So we're going to need to shot back everything. out of the top and adds bubbles. We don't need bubbles. In their world, aeration is good. In our world, areolas are good. Hey, Chinese engineers, having to put tubing clamps on things is fine. Having the fittings recessed into the panel and having it is not, not okay. We're going to have a big old water tank down. That is so cool. All right. There it goes. All the bubbles come out. It only floods the the inner tube. I, I was because of how the tubing looked. I thought it'd flood both of them, but no, we're cool there. And we're just working the bubbles out of the system. Why I'm pushing here. Oh, you just turn the goddamn tube. Hey, there's a swirly bit. That's a stupid ass bit. Just because you can draw the part doesn't mean you can build the part. This whole thing is just making me go fucking freshman engineers. The uh, colostomy bag is installed. Because we put the fucking base on backwards. Watch this and be amazed. I intend to do neither of those things. I'm going to cut all that out and totally start over. Yeah? Go grab me the box of heat shrink. Where is it? strip for Wagos. One centimeter. Good girl. See, and then we put the outer layer of red on top. Okay. 
laser tube is totally installed, flooded, and ready to go. The only thing left is main power. was anticipating this step as to why I, there's six bolts holding that to the wall. six-inch piece of pipe and we want it to be nice and square at the bottom mm -hmm. and what you can do is hold this and draw a million lines all the way around and then connect them all together but this is the easier way so you draw one line on each side okay. maybe three okay but you really don't need more now put a pipe clamp on okay You look around, okay. find your mark, there's your mark. Yeah. Okay. And you line up on this mark here. So now you know it's at the right measurement point. <clears throat> Tighten it down. Not not stupid tight, just tight. And then ah. it gives you a guide to perfectly draw a line. And this isn't like aerospace levels precise, but Good enough. It's fine for the aero space we have here. So to recap, use a band clamp, and because it snugs in, it's gonna square you up really, really good. 
I wouldn't do it with just one measurement point, but with two at 180, you're fine. So that's how you line that up. Now we cut it. Give me a bag! There are many ways to do this. Okay. This is the way I have at the moment. It is certainly not the best way, but it's the best way with the tools I easily have available if I want to get a really straight line. I could do it with a sawzall with a really long blade. Sawzall. It'd be faster, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get to because I'm not that good. Okay. Um, I can do it with the chop saw, but the chop saw won't do a full six. Uh, so it's and it's fucking terrifying to do it that way. So why don't I do that? <laughs> what you just saw me do and make look really easy yeah. is anything but. It. Keep your blade speed high and your feed speed low. You're just easing in. And at no point do you want to let this get in a position to smack forward, okay? Yeah. But just ease into it. And then once you're there, flip the saw around right. because now you have a hole. Yeah. And then it's just follow the line. Okay. And with that, a cut that is within a curve of square. He will go with me and pay for it. You're ready! It's yeah. a hack job. It's a little bit of a hack. It's gonna be okay. Be it's gonna be fine! You said that last We're time. We're just gonna keep saying that until we believe it. <laughs> it's okay. going to be fine. And I know it's gonna be cool because I've already built the whole fucking thing once. Because when I did that... Then cut the feed from the temporary over. You're welcome to send me any... I think Mark Hodgson on a recent video of... Mine is not, on my phone at least. I enabled it in their apps on the phone. No, I know, yeah, it's do super annoying. It browser. That's a little glue. Stick your hand into the yak and brew with cut frame a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Just give me a second Just here. Work. Yep. You're 600. You're older. Six inches at that point. And the fur. So unless the wind blows you. In here. We work quick enough. Really? Really. It's that fast. I think we're close enough where it'll be okay. It'll be fine, but it's not fucking perfect, and it's enough to bug me. Please? I think so. Oh, I don't get paid enough for this shit. Okay, I need a... four, five, and six millimeter T-handled Allen wrench, please. Hello guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. We're down in the shop, but we're gonna unfuck Moose's laser. Living the dream! Living the dream! Okay. Good thing you're skinny. I think it's... It's bigger than that! It's a six! Okay. Cool. Well, we can... Wiggle that back. Loosen the shit out of that. Okay, so it's a six millimeter dingus. We're just gonna tighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna need a wrench that fits the bottom before we're done, but we're not gonna need that for a minute because I got a massage. Could you please grab me a pair of gloves? Because this next part's gonna suck ass. Look how clean that is. It's not how clean it is, it's that it's fucking... Yeah, but look how clean it, it is. It is really quite lovely. We've got mad skills. Well, these are the good gloves. These are the sex gloves. Yeah, they stole your sex gloves to do tags. I found them the other Max. day. No, she buys the same gloves I do. So then I use those. Okay, so we're... You want me to get you a level? I was gonna get you this one. Never mind. 
You didn't see anything. Nothing. You didn't see anything. Nothing happened here. This just free spins on that thing. Yeah. And this don't fucking move at all. She's not oh, gunged up tighter than an un's nasty it is. Yeah, that's fucked. Super fuck! Your shit's as floppity as a Catholic vagina! That's the screen one? Yeah. Oh yeah, she's... She's not fucking happy about it. Ew, you disgusting bitch! That's good for almost level. It's really almost level, actually. Everybody needs a little lube. I got a little bit of lubrication up in there. So this shaft bound completely and stripped that, just that's chapter to cut. I'm gonna try and save it. A little set screw in there. Yeah. I hope there's a little set screw still in there. But if there is, it's smaller than that. There's another set that looks like this. The non-metric set's in a big uh, canvas folder. These are actually torques. Oh. <laughs> Just looked at the first one. Whoops, he's right. Huh? Whoa. Fuck. It's super loose. That wasn't even in there. <laughs> that, that one wasn't doing a goddamn. I didn't want to bother you, but now you told me I could. Like you could ever bother me. Oh, I know. You, you just love me unconditionally. You are the greatest thing that ever happened to me, and I am so th very thankful every day for getting to share my life with you. <laughs> every day. Every day. Oh, fuck. I gotta move. How's that? Uh, how's it going? Move. I gotta get a feeling in here. <laughs> I zoomed in on your butt crack. This is right here. This is this is why I make some good money. This is why I am a man in high demand. He knows how to do set screws, ladies. I know, that's right. I will get into your darkest, dirtiest little crevice. And I will set your grub screws. It's not dirty anymore, I cleaned it. It's still pretty fucking gross in here. <laughs> I cleaned it the best I could. But I grew up with harder tricks, so, you know. Oh! Fire it is! Wow, that's totally loose. It's a goddamn miracle this thing worked at all. <laughs> See, what you gotta watch out for is this, because you, you put your nose on it as you come well, out. So you, you do. turn your head sideways. Ah, Somebody's kind of got that a nose that... Years ago, I'd have caught that on my earring. I want to level it to a reference. Can I? Now, this is all off, right? Yes, we turned everything off and unplugged it. Does that mean I can... I can move it! Okay, I have an idea. This might be a stupid-ass idea. You gonna just put them all the way up? I'm gonna put, bring them all the way up until they touch the laser head uh -huh. and use that to align it. So we're going to align a laser like a 3D printer. Yes, actually we are. <laughs> um, shit! You're fucking smart! I know. Okay, smart ass. In what way are you so smart? What did you and just We're gonna use it like with? a 3D printer. You're gonna use a spacer. I'm gonna use a spacer. I know. I'm gonna use... That's what I would have done. I told you I'm a genius. You're like a super genius! 
a very stable genius. We're just scraping the top right there. Alright, cool. Yep. Alright. Got, whoa. A little more up. Just a little. A little. Perfect. Right there? Maybe a little bit less. Like an eighth of a turn, there? not even. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too much. Good there? Up a little tiny bit. Good. There? Yep. Right there? Right there. Right. Stop. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> yep. Right. Okay, so now we have the laser lined. What? Some of that blue tack poster putty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is it out or put away? He is correct. Everyone, Chris Bowden puts away his toys. Watch this. I'll teach you something. Remember how we were talking about how all your knowledge is theoretical and all mm -hmm. mine's practical and mm -hmm. all theory? Here's a practical thing for you. Cool. I'll tell you how to solve the circuit later. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> all right. So you take a little piece of the blue tack. Okay. Warm it up. You can also chew it. But if you're chewing it, you might as well just use Bazooka Joe. When I was a little boy, before we had blue tack, we had Bazooka Joe bubblegum. Right, so you put that on there. That's a lot. Well, you want a lot, because you got to fill the gap. And you squeeze it off, like that. Okay. All but a little tiny bit. Okay, just okay. a little bit on there. And that, a little tiny bit, hold your damn washer, and your nut, and now you can reach this, which, here, my light is about fucking uselessly mounted, but there you go, now you can see what I'm doing. I gotta reach that under there, and hold it, and then very carefully, hang on. My underwear. No <laughs> back! Never. <laughs> so we bring this, spin it backwards. I think you got it. Yeah. You're so smart. And then neat. So that one doesn't have teeth on it. What, this? Yeah. No, because it's on the back side of the back. Oh. See, it goes like that. Oh, okay. Where's that side go? Well, it took me a moment. I figured it out. It took me, it was like... <laughs> Why the fuck do I have a mile of belt? Because we're off the motor. I gotta go in. Ah. Uh, I'm going in. It's got to be on the motor. Yep. We can't really see very well, but... You're not missing much. There's a motor way back here, and I'm hooking the belt to it. Okay, so the belt's on the motor. Belt's on there. Good over here. Oh, we're getting there. I gotta, I gotta eat up a lot of, a lot of belt. Good there. Good there. And see, I gotta move the belt yeah. around the pulley. Because they're cause teeth. If I, if I pull on the pulley, I'm gonna teeth. fuck it up. Okay, so now. Now you need bring, to figure out, yeah. Now we gotta tension how this. How tight it is. And now when I pull this off, I, it's leave, goopy. I leave a little bit of blue tack in there forever. That's fine. But that just that just helps. And now... When you turn one, it should turn them all. When you turn one, they should all move. Let's try it. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't even know how to turn this on. But... You want, probably want your... Uh, Allen wrench. Oh! <laughs> we could... That could stay there for years and be fine. Until she puts something thick in there and yep. like, whoa, I made a bad sound, whatever. Oh, hey, I've been looking for that. <laughs> That's never happened to ever. me ever. I once left a set of dikes under the hood of a car for four years. Four years! I left a set of my good Klein red-handled dikes no. under, the, under the hood of the Del Sol. And they never fell out. They never shorted anything. They just rode around in a car for oh like my four God. fucking years. 
put tens of thousands of miles on that car. That's crazy. And they never fell out, and they never heard anything. It blew my mind. The other God knows how many tools that were probably sitting with them. Yeah. And that's where my 10 millimeter socket went. I have a good healthy relationship with my emotions. Yeah! Sheldon Pine says differently. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. I got all my points today. I hit level five. You can suck a dick, yo. <laughs> Fuck you, Cade. Wow, memories of high school. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Cade. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Only 90 Sheldon Pines kids can relate. All right, so that's, that's as fixed as I can get it. What I can do, God, I wish she was going to be gone for another hour. I'd fucking do that whole thing. Just do it. I can't just do it. Just do it. No, because to... Even to take the measurements, i got to take the other thing apart. She's got to eat in 50 minutes anyway. No, she does It's not like she's on a schedule. She's not a koala. I so passionately love this fucking tool. <laughs> Just love this tool. Okay. For the record, I know what a drift is. Do you? I'm glad you got the drift. Wow, that's handy. Inch and a fat half. Hi hey guys, welcome back for day five on the laser adventure. Today, I'm biasing thing. Hey, Chinese laser engineers, put a fan here. The little one's got a fan. The big one needs a, a, a fan here. The fan that comes with this. It's the exact same fan you see to blow up. Uh, it's the same cheap Guilong Ding Dong fan they used to blow up bounce houses. Really won't make any noise at all. Other than the screams and swearing of me trying to get the fucking thing in the hole. This fan will not rattle until it starts to, and when this fan starts to rattle, it's disposable. My problem is, it's a, a little shaded pull motor, and that's totally exposed right into the airstream. So this is just going to clog with shit and die. There's, there's no protection for the motor at all. Your little fan is now hot. Because if you judge shit just by looks, you wouldn't be with me. Let's just see if we can do it the easy way first. Could you please hold this while I take it? Should put enough of a bias pressure on the pipe. To, uh, get everything is live, water pump is live, exhaust fan is live, laser is live. Oh, there are lights. Yeah. Ah, that's the water there. The little pump is not moving well. Turn the water pump off, please. The pump's dead. The pump is dead? The pump's dead. After three days? Cheap Chinese pump. I guess. I have to go find the tiniest little garden pump I can. Back from Menard's trip too. Don't run away with that tubing, I'll probably need it. You can totally use a PEX valve with garden hose and a hose pipe. It's hard being... Well, a lot of pumps. No. Next. Just go. 
this is our bypass output. Um, all right, I'm going to hand you your tube, which is much shorter here. Grab your little tube. You can take the whole assembly and just set that down on the floor. Oh this all worked before we moved the fucking laser. How bad? Where? This is dripping out of the output. Also, that water pump is loud as fuck. I know this. Well, the good news is it only has to be on when the laser's on. Uh, and you may now align the laser. Uh. Such a happy, peaceful little sound. Thing. What? I'm not getting a pulse out of it. Wait a minute. But try it now. It pulsed. How can you tell? I could hear it. Huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a powerful laser, huh? Hey, Steven. Pulsed. <laughs> That's the best. Laser works good. We've had the laser operate for literally, what? Half a second. Half a second. And there's scorch marks on it already. We've got the screaming Mimi fucking water pump. Okay. And the tube's on uh, fire. Oh, wow. But yeah, it, went, it burned right through mirror one's tape and onto mirror two's tape. Very cool. How's the alignment? <laughs> uh, not terrible. Invisible laser radiation when Invidible? open. Invisible? Oh my god. It's unable to be vitted. Yeah, we definitely need like two pairs of CO2 rated laser safety goggles. That might make this go faster. You can't just use any laser safety goggles. They gotta be for the right wavelength. And we have a CO2 laser, so. Right. How did I do that? What? I put it back where it was. That, that's very close. Right. Speak up, turn. Time is 13.05 hours on December 2nd, 2019. Moose is ready. I think so. There's wood in it. There's even a little red dot. Is it going to work? Oh my god, there's lasering happening. This makes a sound. I might have had my wooden pad in the wrong spot, but that's okay. It works! The fan could be working better. That's cool. Fuck, it's fast. 